Hi everyone, I'm Eddie Baskoro. Welcome again to MA3051. In this section, we are going to discuss about matrix, degree, and subgraph. A graph is uh, completely determined by either its adjacencies or its incidences. This information can be conveniently stated in matrix form. Indeed, with a given graph, there are associated several matrices, including at least the adjacency matrix and the incident matrix. Let G be a graph, a general graph, not necessarily a sim simple graph, and V is the vertex set, and E is the edge set. The adjacency matrix of G is defined as the n time n matrix A eh, with the AIJ is the number of edges joining between AI and AJ. Yeah? <coughs> If the graph is simple, then uh, AIJ is simply 1. If AI and AJ, is, uh, uh, AI and AJ are adjacent. Yeah? And then we define the incident matrix of G is the matrix of uh, N time M matrix uh, with capital M. And then the entries uh, of the matrix, which is uh, MIG, represent the number of times that v, the vertex uh, VI and the edge uh, EJ are incident. Yeah? So the number of times here can be uh, either 0 or 1 or 2. Note that if the edge of I, uh, EG is a uh, loop, then uh, MIG here uh, is 2. Yeah? 0 means not incident, and then 1 is uh, incident. Yeah? Now consider the following graph G with uh, 5 vertices and uh, 8 edges here. The adjacency matrix will be 5 times 5 and shown uh, in the, on the right side here. For example, look at the vertex B here. Yeah? There are one edge joining B and C and there are two edges uh, joining B uh, and A. So in the row of B, we have two here in uh, column A, and then one entry in column C, and then the rest are zeros. Yeah? So in general, if you look at the row of the adjacency matrix of G here, if you sum, uh, in every row, the entries in every row, we have the degree of uh, this vertex. Yeah? And also the sum of each column yeah, represents the degree uh, of uh, the vertex, uh, corresponding vertex. From the definition, we can have that the adjacency matrix is always symmetric for any graph. The incident matrix of this graph will be 5 times 8, shown on the right side here. Yeah. And look at the vertex C in the graph. This vertex is only incident with edges E4, E5, and then E6, yeah? 
is 7, sorry. In the corresponding row, here we have 1 only in E4 and then E5 and E7, yeah. Now consider vertex E. This vertex only incident with edges E1 and then E6, E7, and E8. Yeah. So in the corresponding column, yeah, we have ones except for column EH. We have two because uh, E is, is a loop, is a loop. Note that in each column, we have uh, exactly two entries of uh, ones, yeah? since each edge incident to two vertices. Yeah? Note that uh, loop, we count it twice. Now let us consider another example. We have a graph G with uh, five vertices and five edges. Then we have the adjacency matrix of this graph. This graph is a simple graph on the right side. Yeah? This is the adjacency matrix of this graph. You can check its length. Now if you exchange the labeling of the vertices, for instance, A and E, we exchange the labeling, like in this diagram, then the adjacency matrix of this graph after relabeling vertices is shown here. Yeah? And this matrix can be actually obtained from the above matrix by exchange the row A and E and the column yeah, A and E. From algebra, we know that these two matrices have the same property. Okay, I give you three problems for uh, the exercise. Now, a graph H is a subgraph of G. This is the symbol of the subgraph. If the vertex set of H is a subset of the vertex set of G, and the edge set of H is a subset of the edge set of G. Okay? We call H is a proper subgraph of G if H is a subgraph of G and H is not the same uh, or not equals G. Yeah? So that means uh, phi H, uh, proper subset of G, or E H, proper subset of E G. H is called a spanning subgraph of G if the set of vertices of H equals the set of vertices of G. And the induced subgraph by phi1 denoted by this symbol, phi1 is a subset of E, is the subgraph whose the vertex set is phi1 and the edge set is the set of those edges of G that have both ends in phi1. Yeah? And then this symbol G minus phi is the subgraph of G obtained by, remove, by removal of vertex V and all edges incident to, to V. Yeah? And then the edge in the subgraph by E prime is denoted by this symbol yeah, is the subgraph of G whose the edge set 
is E prime and the vertex set is V prime yeah, which is the vertex the vertices are incident to or with uh, E yeah, with some uh, edges E and uh, E prime Now consider example here we have a graph G in A and in B we have a spanning subgraph of G yeah? this is only one of the spanning subgraph of G we have uh, we, we can have uh, more than one uh, in general a spanning subgraph of G and then in C uh, we have a subgraph uh, by remove by removal uh, the vertices u and w yeah so we remove u and w here we obtain this subgraph yeah and then in d we have a subgraph of g by removing uh, by removing the edges a and then b and f yeah a b and f so we have all this subgraph and then in uh, e here we have uh, the induced subgraph uh, by the set of u, v, and h, uh, and, and h here. So uh, this set is uh, uh, the set of the vertices. Yeah. So we having this, yeah, and this one uh, edges, yeah, and then uh, the last one. This is the example of the subgraph induced by the set of edges. Yeah, the edges here we have uh, a four edges. Yeah, so this is the subgraph uh, induced by the edges. Now we define the degree of a vertex v and g. The degree of a vertex v and g is simply the number of edges of G incident to V with V. Note that each loop contains as twice uh, edges here. The small delta G denotes the minimum degree of vertices of G and then the big delta of G denotes the maximum degree of vertices in G. A graph G is k regular if all degrees are the same, which is k. Yeah. This is the example complete graph with n vertices is uh, n minus 1 regular, and then uh, complete bipartite k and n is uh, n regular, and cyclus uh, with n vertices uh, is 2 regular. Now we have the first theorems in our lecture. This is uh, theorem 1.1. In the graph G, the sum of all degrees is equal to times the number of edges. Yeah. We are going to show uh, these uh, theorems. Consider the incident matrix M of uh, graph G here and the sum of all rows will be equals to the sum of all degrees of the vertices in G and the sum of all columns equals two times the number of edges in the graph G because each column represents uh, one edge and then in each column we have uh, two entries of ones. Yeah, so we have uh, these uh, theorems. Now we have a corollary from the theorems 1.1. It says that in any graph G, the number of vertices of odd degree is even. Why is that? This is the proof. Let's a the set of all uh, vertices with the uh, odd degree and then B 
the set of all vertices with degree uh, even. And now from the theorems 1.1, we have this is actually the sum of all degrees of the vertices. We divide by 2. Uh, we sum first uh, all the vertices in A and then we sum all the vertices of B yeah, in B. Then from the theorems, uh, this uh, sum must be even. Yeah? Must be even. Then since the sum of uh, all vertices in B, yeah, degree in B, yeah, is always even, then this one, the sum all the vertices in A must be also even. Yeah? Because uh, the degree in A all are odd, then the number of the vertices in A must be uh, even. Yeah? So we have this uh, corollary. So this is the end of this section. Thank you for watching.